Hi friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, in this video we can see some questions from previous ESIC question paper. This question is from Anatomy and Physiology. All previous ESIC questions. We will see the question one by one. The first question, bilirubin is formed from and options option a heme option b globulin option c transferrin option d gastroferrin okay question is bilirubin is formed from and the correct answer is option a from heme okay bilirubin is an yellowish pigment present in the bile and it is formed from the heme part of hemoglobin after the destruction of this rbc okay normal lifespan of rbc is 120 days once the rbc is destructed this bilirubin is formed from the heme part of this rbc okay here correct answer is option a heme the next question excessive hemolysis may result from accumulation of which substance in the body Options option A mean bilirubin, option B minerals, option C heme, option D globulin. Here correct answer is option A bilirubin. Excessive hemolysis may result in the accumulation of bilirubin in the body. Hemolysis means is the destruction of RBC. Destruction means there is old and damaged RBC may be destroyed. The destruction usually occurs in liver, spleen and red bone marrow. Bilirubin is the end product of destruction of this RBC. So, here correct answer is option A. The next question, the insufficiency of this substance in the blood may lead to edema of the body. Options, option A, albumin, option B, electrolyte, option C, hormone, option D, all of this. Insufficiency of this substance in the blood may lead to edema. Correct answer, option A, albumin. This albumin is the smallest and most abundant plasma protein in the body. Albumin helps to maintain the blood volume and blood pressure in the body thereby maintaining the oncotic pressure of the body. Okay. Once the amount of this albumin decreases insufficiency here question insufficiency is there once the insufficiency or decrease the amount of this albumin in the blood which may lead to accumulation of fluid in the interstitial tissue which may lead to edema of the body okay here insufficiency of albumin in the blood leads to edema option a is the correct answer the next question, which of the following is considered as an indicator for administration of serum albumin? Options, option A, formation of WBC, option B, formation of RBC, option C, clotting of blood, option D, maintenance of oncotic pressure, which is the indicator for administration of albumin. That is the question. So, correct answer is option D, maintenance of oncotic pressure. This albumin, as we already discussed in the previous question, albumin is a smallest and most abundant plasma protein. The main function of this albumin is to helps to maintain blood volume and blood pressure. Thereby, it maintains the oncotic pressure or osmotic pressure of the blood. Here question is, the indication for administration of serum albumin is to maintain the oncotic pressure option. D is the correct answer. Next question, the length of medulla oblongata is options, option A 4.5 cm, option B 6 cm, option C 2.5 cm and option D 3 cm, 5 cm and correct answer is option C 2.5 cm length of medulla oblongata is approximately 3 cm here 2.5 cm is there so that is the correct answer. The next question, largest sesamoid bone is options, option A patella, option B mandible, option C clavicle and option D atlas. Largest sesamoid bone is option A patella is the correct answer. 
second option mandible mandible is the movable or mobile bone of the skull and third option clavicle is there that is the first bone to ossify in the body is clavicle first bone to ossify in the body is clavicle the next option atlas atlas is the first cervical vertebra second cervical vertebra is axis here our question largest sesamoid bone is patella Next question, location of swallowing and omitting center is located in options, option A, hypothalamus, option B, medulla oblongata, option C, pons, option D, cerebrum. Location of swallowing and omitting center is located in medulla oblongata, option B is the correct answer. Location of thirst center is hypothalamus. And location of cardiovascular center is medulla oblongata. Location of respiratory center is also medulla oblongata. Important point. And location of temperature regulatory center is hypothalamus. Here our question. Location of swallowing and omitting center is located in medulla oblongata. Option B is the correct answer. And next question. Functional tissue of the lung is. Options option A bronchi, option B alveoli, option C nephrons, option D glial cells. Functional tissue of the lungs is option B alveoli is the functional tissue of the lungs. Functional unit of the kidney is nephrons. The next question weight of testes. Options option A 30 to 40 gram, option B 20 to 25 gram. Option C 20 to 40 gram and option D 30 to 35 gram. Correct answer is option B 20 to 25 gram. Its weight test is weights about 20 to 25 gram and its measurement is 4.5 centimeter long, 2.5 centimeter wide and 3 centimeter in thickness. 4.5 cm long, 2.5 cm wide and 3 cm in thickness. Move on to the next question. The supportive cells of the nervous system are options. Option A stem cells, option B astrocytes, option C glial cell, option D all of this. Supportive cells of the nervous system. Correct answer is option C glial cells is the supportive cells of nervous system. The next question spinal cord is made up of options option A neuron, option B striated cells, option C dendrons, option D nephrons. Spinal cord is made up of neurons. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. The purpose of lymph node is to trap. Options option A antigens, option B macrophages, option C hormones, option D all of this. Correct answer is option A antigen. The main purpose of the lymph node in our body is to trap and destroy the pathogens. Pathogens means the outside substance or the antigen which enter the body. They are destroying the pathogens by phagocytic mechanism. So the function of this lymph node is to destroy the unwanted substance coming into the body. That is called antigen. The next question. The apex of the heart is formed mostly by Options option A right atrium, option B right ventricle, option C left atrium, option D left ventricles. Apex of the heart is formed by left ventricles. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Apical pulse is assessed by placing the diaphragm of the stethoscope at the area of option A aortic area, option B pulmonary area. Option C, metral area. Option D, tricuspid area. Correct answer is option D, metral area. Metral area means between the left atrium and left ventricle. That is at fifth intercostal space. Okay, apical pulse is assessed by placing the diaphragm of the stethoscope at the metral area. That is at the fifth intercostal space.
The next question, capacity of gallbladder is options. Option A, 30 to 50 ml. Option B, 20 to 25 ml. Option C, 20 to 40 ml. Option D, 30 to 35 ml. Correct answer, option A, 30 to 50 ml is the capacity of gallbladder. The next question, which of the following is not filtered out during glomerular filtration? Options, option A, glucose, option B, salt, option C, water, option D, proteins. Correct answer is option D, proteins. Except plasma proteins and blood cells, remaining all the substance will filtered out during glomerular filtration. So, here correct answer is proteins. Option D is the correct answer. The next question which is completely reabsorbed by renal tubules options option a creatinine option b glucose option c potassium option d uric acid which substance is completely reabsorbed by renal tubules correct answer is option b glucose and the next question the hormone renin is synthesized by Options, option A, spleen, option B, liver, option D, just a glomerular apparatus, option D, brain. Hormone, arenin is synthesized by option C, just a glomerular apparatus. And the next question, when a person's blood pressure drops, the kidney respond by options. Option A, producing aldosterone, option B, slowing the release of ADH, option C, secreting renin, option D, Increasing urine output. And here the correct answer is option C. Secreting renin. This renin is synthesized by just a glomerular apparatus of the kidney. Which helps to catalyze the synthesis of angiotensin 1 from angiotensinogen. This angiotensin 1 converted into angiotensin 2 with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme. This angiotensin 2 helps to decrease the glomerular filtration rate by vasoconstriction thereby increases the water and so water sodium and chloride reabsorption from proximal convoluted tubule. This stimulates the synthesis of aldosterone. Aldosterone is synthesized by adrenal cortex. Once the aldosterone is synthesized, that will help to increase the reabsorption of sodium and water, which may help to increase the BP. So, once the person's blood pressure will drops, the kidney respond by synthesizing or secreting renin, which will follow the fo previous following steps and thereby improving the person's blood pressure. The next question, a rate of secretion of CSF is options 1 ml per minute, option B 2 ml per minute, option C 0.5 ml per minute and option D 1.5 ml per minute. Correct answer is option C 0.5 ml per minute. Related important points regarding CSF. Total volume of CSF in human body is 125 ml. And the pressure of CSF during lying position 10 cm of water. Okay. And the pressure of CSF during sitting position 30 cm of water. And the CSF is secreted by the epithelial cells of coral plexus. Some important points, okay. This all questions was from previous ESIC question papers. Remaining questions we will see in the next video.